Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 7. <laughs> Sorry, I <laughs> checked my rundown sheet. And it's the beginning of the night stream, so uh, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that bodes, that bodes well. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it does. <laughs> okay, enough of that. We, we've, we're picking up where we left off at the Paracas Mining Station. We were, uh, yeah, thanks for that. We were getting ready to take our little T, T3, T3M something or other? No, T3, yeah, T3M4. The little M4 Sherman here. <laughs> At least that's what he's going to be by the time I get done with him. And, um, and we're trying to unlock whatever's going on in the station here. So let's, uh... Double check our loadout real quick. Alright, so we do still have the shock arm equipped and the ion blast equipped. Uh, the ion blast... Uh, does extra damage to the uh, to droids. And I'm trying to remember one of these... <laughs> T29 pre-nerf. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's little. He's about to be, uh, uh he's still pretty quick, so he, he just won't be a T-29 until I get some top-end heavy armor plating for him. In the meantime, he's still a medium-ish, medium-adjacent. Okay, um... I thought I had one that took down droid shields um, but I guess not all right okay no big we'll make this work because we just finished doing what we were doing over in the depot and we're making it our way back no not definitely not a chaffy uh, there's another right gun for that and yep that's what I thought so, let's do this. Let's toss an ion grenade. And then we'll hit him with the shock arm and then start shooting him. Oh. Oh, I should use more of those. No, I've only got six. <laughs> All right, I, I was kind of expecting that to go a little bit, take a little bit longer, but okay. Right, no, that's empty. We've already looted that. That's right, because we're heading, we're heading back. And if it's lootable, we are looting it. There we go. There's something else I needed. Now, the problem I'm going to run into. Uh, not so much RNG as in just have the biggest honking gun you can. Oh, that's right. All right, so we took care of all that stuff in here, and we need to go through this door that we couldn't open until we got a Sonic Mine. Oh, let's uh get out of range of that. There we go. Yeah, I know number one is still an option, but I think the game, I, if I remember right, the game didn't let you do that. I, I know the droid has suffered damage. I can't loot it for parts? I mean, at least save what's salvageable? I mean, uh, never mind. Rodening chamber. Oh, that's gonna be, um... Oh wrong button. I keep hitting E for inventory. I've been playing Minecraft. Alright, the impact armor I've got equipped. Battle stimulant. Can droids use battle stimulants? I mean... Okay. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Shoot the whole thing. Yeah. Well, you know. Okay, so that is that is a modification for ranged weapons. We got a flamethrower now, which is always kind of fun. Let's uh, check our security. 
Get back to some lockpicking lawyer. Nothing on one, binding on two. We got a little click over here on three. And chemical, ooh, we got a sonic rifle. Can, uh, can the little guy here use a sonic rifle? No. Oh, that's a shame. He should totally be able to do that. I mean, who, who, who doesn't love a cute little droid just packing, packing heat? I mean, other than the enemy. All right. What was it I needed to do? All right. The fuel depot door. Nope. Magnetically sealed. Oh, that's right. We, we got to go uh, play with the computer here. Now that we got the parts to do it. So the footlocker is empty. Just to double check, that footlocker is empty. All right, progress hangar control, system diagnostic, system damaged. Repair, several parts have been removed from this console and, the, and a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Despite the sabotage, however, the console's basic functionality was intended to be restored quickly by replacing the missing parts. Repair. Replace the missing parts using one parts. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. It's functionality restored. Main console. Alright. Um, how many spikes do I have? I've only got three. So as much as I really would love to have the hangar bay map, let me, uh, let's see what we got first. We've got the emergency control. Um, ooh, open the blast door to the fuel depot or the hangar. I've only got three spikes. Let's, uh, see what some diagnostics will do. Okay, so everything has moved over to the fuel depot computer terminal. All right. So we can okay, so we're definitely gonna need to maintain at least one spike so that way we can uh open the blast door to the fuel depot. Alright, what's in the hangar logs? Docking and takeoff procedures. All incoming and outgoing freighters need orbital drift charts transmitted from Pergus in order to navigate the asteroid field surrounding the mining colony. Okay. Without it, any vessel entering or even or leaving, Paragus is in danger of being destroyed in the asteroid field. All right, so uh, that's good to know. Transmit, yes, please, transmit the orbital drift charts to the Ebon Hawk. No, 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 no. I, I say transmit, and you, you transmit. You can't download the charts because someone has encrypted the Neva computer. You'll need to find a way to get them on the Ebon Hawk when you're ready for takeoff. Thanks. Access the hangar logs. All right, so that's the docking and... Okay. Uh, what's this contraband one? A lot one? of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. The secure mm -hmm. cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Oh, is that what we picked up? Our contraband. All right, what, what about the maintenance? To repair that Jedi's freighter. I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work shifts in Med Bay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Well, okay then. Although it is nice to know that the Ebon Hawk is, uh, 
working now that somebody was so kind to replace to fix our computer for us. Looks like those all droids right. got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Navi computer. It's been voice locked. Hmm. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Navi computer and put in a new one. If we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Navi computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers <laughs> do that, or someone uh -huh. has something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. I don't have anything to hide that I know of. All right, back to the main functions. What about the remote camera? So, hangar 25. Nothing special to see. Main cargo hold. Nope. Already looted. Security cargo room. Already looted. Decon area. All right, some gaseous something or other happening there. Back to the main functions. All right. So we got three computer spikes. Let's do this. Uh, let's take care of the blast door to hangar 25. Let's take care of the blast door to the fuel depot. Wait, I only used one computer spike. Wasn't there something else I could do? Open the blast door. <laughs> Open the blast door to hangar 25. Failure. Conduit removed. Okay. And I want to get the hangar bay layout. There we go. All right. So we took care of everything there. I guess all that's left is to do the comm system. Diagnosis running. Signal unit destroyed. Oh. Well, I guess that's it. All right, so we got some XP. We got a journal entry. Um, okay, so we discovered that the emergency subsystem have been rerouted to a computer terminal in the fuel depot. You'll need to make your way there in order to access the subsystems and free a non-junior from the administration level. Okay. So far, so good. Mm. You know what I forgot? I forgot my clock to let me know when uh, I've run into the end of, the, of, of an episode. Oops. Um, Alright, we'll take care of that in a minute. Oh, 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 wait. You seriously didn't notice uh, home skill it just sitting there? You can't hit the guy that is sitting right in front of you? Alright, shoot first, loot later. Okay. Now they're all dead. I'll grab that. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Just checking to make sure that there's nothing uh, that needs to happen. Oh, look. A conveniently available broken droid with some armor plating. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... Wait, what do you mean? All right. So I can use either the impact plating that I've been using, which gives a defense boost of three, or the dash plating, which adds a defense bonus of six and a dex bonus. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yes, please. Anything else we need? Well, I mean, we got the flamethrowers, but we're not going to put those on just, just yet. So far, so good, right? By the way, let me go ahead and do a save game real quick before we open that door. All right. Ah! That's why I wanted to do that. 
Let's, uh... Take care of the near guy first. Gotcha. So far, so good, alright? Alright. Nothing to loot, nothing to loot. Oh, hey! Let's, uh, do a security. I mean, it's about as fast as what it takes a lockpicking lawyer to manage these things, right? Probably using the side of an aluminum can or something. I mean, you're riding around as an aluminum can, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. Let's grab the repair kits and the components and things. Alright, and... To the fuel depot. Dun, 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 dun. Haven't we been here? I think we've been here. Of course, it doesn't help that after I finished last night, or last night, uh, last week's stream, I kind of kept going. Because I can't quite put it put this game down. The containment field blocks access to the fuel lines below. There seems to be no way to open it. I love how there's a little lockpick in the middle of an electromagnetic field, too. Like, here's a field of pure energy. Let me, uh... Take my screwdriver and bobby pin. Like this is some sort of Fallout game. Eh. Oh. Too much. Anything over here? No? Can I open this one? Nope. This force field cuts the fuel depot off from the hangar bay, but you don't see any way to open it or get around it. Naturally. Alright. I guess our only other option is, uh, this fuel control station. Remote cameras? What's in the fuel line sensors? Uh, that looks like something about to blow up. The fuel line deposits fuel into dock starships, yada yada, since nobody's there, it's sealed. There appears to be some sort of metal case lying inside the fuel pipe, but you can't make it out. Thanks for that. Okay. Maintenance level. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, we've been there. <laughs> uh, entrance to droid maintenance area. We literally can't go there. Okay. The droid maintenance area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown. However, new programming has been introduced to keep it from opening even if the lockdown is cancelled. That's good to know. There's no way to shut down the field that you can see from this terminal. This means anyone inside the facility is effectively cut off from the hangar bay. Of course. Alright, back to the main... Uh, oh, systems log. Within the past day, a series of explosions with the Progress Mining Facility has enacted an emergency lockdown. Someone has sliced into the fuel depot computers and created a phantom fuel leak sealing off the area with force fields to contain the blast. It looks as if someone has been using the lockdown system, or the, using the lockdown to systematically isolate sections of the facility. Again, reinforcing our initial assumption that somebody's doing something. All right. Uh, oh, open emergency hatch on the admin level. Done. All right. Remote cameras, and that's it. Oh no. This does not look like a pleasant cutscene. No! Oh. Oh man. So, is that stupid droid of yours going to come through or not? All right. Let's give him a little more time. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my. Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. Hey, you owe me an apology for that, too. Alright, looks like it. But it's strange you didn't contact us. Lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Uh, <laughs> we don't... What's this, we? We don't have a clear run to the hangar. All that's open is the emergency hatch. No, let, let, let's go with the, the nice answer. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion yeah. I heard came from below. 
There's probably nothing yeah. down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. Eh. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Thanks. Uh, if it's dangerous, then you're going, not me. A Jedi's life is sacrifice. Besides, someone's going to save our skins. Maybe, but it's the only way out, and it's better I risk my life than yours. Since we're trying to be light side, and... How you respond to them determines the way they go, too. Like... If I remember right, he is one of the people that you can actually convince to become a Jedi. So, uh, let's try the first You're one. Either really brave or really crazy, or both. All right, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. Yeah. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. Uh -huh. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Sure. <laughs> Your concern is noted. I'm going soon. Oh, got it. See you now. Keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide mm -hmm. you through the tunnels from up here. The you mean annoy me from up there? Get too deep, though. I'm probably not going to be able to tell you that uh, you should really shut up without it being taken as a dark side act, aren't I? All right. We got some light side points. We got a comm link, and uh, we're still running around in nothing but our underwear with a mining torch. Uh, I'm still not all that happy about that. Oh, but we got the uh, sonic rifle as an option now, too. Why did I not have that as my primary weapon? Alright, uh, let me cancel that. Let me go none... F no, let's get the sonic rifle available as a backup. Why do I have that over that? Because that's going to be 2 to 6 damage, where that's going to be 1 to 10. Okay, that's right. That's why. Because as much as I'd love to do 10, I could also do 1, and this is at least a guaranteed 2. Ah, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go with the big sword. Unfortunately, you can't put that in your offhand. Uh, oh. I've had this energy shield all this time. No armor, though. No implants or anything else. But at least we got that. Alright. This... This does not seem advisable. Running around in your underwear with a sword? That, uh... That does not seem advisable. Let's go explore these two paths real quick before we head down where I know we're supposed to go. Random wandering droid. The droid still has power, but is no longer receiving signal. All right. Let's uh, scavenge it for parts. And switch it to defend organics. Okay. This guy's probably going to give us the same option, all right? Yep. Let's scavenge for parts. And defend organics. Is that all that we have up here? I would like to have found more than a couple of measly parts. Alright. And more parts. Natch. Alright. Running with a sword. Nearly naked. that other door. Alright, that's back to the mm, the prison bay where he was locked up. Did we uh, did we leave any lootable stuff behind? No. Okay. Just double checking. I'd hate to leave something lootable behind. That's the room that we came from. And then up here. Come on. Oh, no. That'll only open if a ship docks with the facility. So, uh, in the very likely event that something comes and prepares to do horrible things to us, that's where we need to go. Gotcha. Uh... 
Yeah, I thought I was going down to the mining tunnels too. I got lost. Have I already looted this? Nope. Oh, you've already scavenged them. So I have. Alright, let me leave them alone. Um, I thought I knew where the mining tunnels were. Oh no, that's right, that's right. I gotta backtrack a little bit. I gotta go back through here with the people who I've already looted. Past the security desk. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no, that, that, that's a fair summary. Alright, so, before we enter into the tunnels, uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and uh, insert a little cut, because I release these as six episodes throughout the week, so if you want to uh, watch live, join me on Twitch, Fridays, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and if you want to watch later... Check on YouTube and it'll roll out across as uh, six installments over the course of the week. So uh, Twitch people, hang on just two seconds real quick. And YouTube people, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live... You can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.